Hey, Grim. Maybe you don't do that. See? This is why they're not allowed in here. Look at that. Look at that destruction of Baby Bowser. And what is this? Getting in plastic? Grim! Hey. My name is Leah, also known as Eventual Knits on Ruffle. <laughs> What's my name? I'm Leah, also known as Eventual Knits. Um, on Instagram, I am Miss underscore LJV, and on Ravelry, I am Eventual. Today is Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. Um, I won't be able to get a regular podcast out for a little while. Um, sorry, my shirt is just bothering me. I'm wearing black, black on black, and with these lights, it's like gray on black. I'm gonna take this off. Um, I won't be able to get a regular podcast out this week. Um, I'll talk about it when I uh, actually do record a podcast, but um, my family um, last weekend uh, went through a, a pretty tragic circumstance, um, and so I thought, well, um, even though I won't be able to do a regular podcast, um, I have had several packages, um, piling up, and it's nice to do something, um, that reminds you of good things in life and supporting, um, awesome people, and, so I thought it would be a nice little bright spot to my week and um, hopefully to yours as well. So um, I hope that you enjoy. I've never done like a um, unboxing, like I've never done an opening video before. Um, I don't know <laughs> if like what the sound quality is going to be like. So uh, bear with me on that. I hope that it is fine even though I'm gonna be definitely talking right into the like speaker because I'm just, like I'm like bent over the bent over the stuff and whatnot um you can also see that I am in a different setting than normal I'm in the game room the lights and setup just happened to be down here so I was like you know what let's just let's just record from down here the world is topsy-turvy let's be topsy-turvy for once so I hope you enjoy. Leave a comment. Um, let me know what you think of the yarns and other items. And um, if you've bought from those uh, dyers or uh, makers before. And or if you are inspired and hope to buy from them in the future. So enjoy. So I subscribe to a three month yarn of the month club Pokemon theme by High Fiber Arts. And... Um, it's a mystery club, and the yarn from the first two were Bulbasaur and um, Mr. Mine, and I showed those both on my podcast, and this is the third month. Now, I do think that I want to re-up my three-month subscription because the yarns are so rich and so good, and I don't know what's going to be in here, so let's find out. Anyone else have to always be so careful. So careful. Look at that. I cut that. That plastic. I've only actually ever cut yarn one time. Uh, and it was a uh, Jackson yarn curl from NPR's Jackson. Alright, what do you think this one is? This is glue. No, too much pink. Oh! <laughs> it's Nidoran. Male. That's awesome. So, High Fiber Arts, Sock Club 2020. Let's open it. So, 
So when you get yarn from High Fiber Arts, you get the yarn and it is a self-striping sock yarn and it does always come with a mini skein. So Sock Club, Knitter In, um, in Pokemon it would have the male symbol after it. And it's Everyday Sock, 80% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon. Super rich, super beautiful. And it always comes with a cute little sticker. And then a little business card with information. And then always a cute little tea that I, oop, <laughs> that I love to drink. So that was exciting. I love, it, it's just so random. Bulbasaur is a, um, is a, <laughs> you know, is a starter. Mr. Mime is just super random. And then yeah, Nidoran, totally unexpected. So I'm excited to see what comes up next. So the yarn in this package is from Little Skein in the Big Wall. Um, there's nothing on the front except for a little, um, a cute little bunny. And um, yeah, let's see what's inside. This one actually, maybe I can te tear. Let's see. Oh, it's not even yarn. <laughs> I swear, maybe I didn't order yarn from her recently. So this is the You Can Sit With Us shirt. I ordered it such a while ago. Um, so yeah, let's let's take a look at this. Um, it, this it's so funny. I was just talking about uh, Drs. Jackson, um, and this is his wife uh, collaboration with his wife. Little skin in the big wall, really nice. Um, with her new updated logo of Molly eating some yarn, that little naughty beagle. San Francisco, where she lives, with some yarn. All right, let's get this open. So this is a super cool shirt because it shows a lot of different kinds of fiber art. It is a v-neck. Um, it has a partial embroidery. That's really cool. Crochet some knitting needles, some spinning, other kinds of spinning, yarn. That's really cool. And you can sit with us. So this shirt is a collaboration between um, Ashley and um, Anne. And it was sort of the mind child of like, hey, like let's make an inclusive environment. Um, anyone who wants to sit with us can sit with us. We're not exclusive. We're not going to um, make people feel badly or not include them and everyone is welcome and so um, it's this sort of um, spin that Anne took on the you know all are welcome here right it's it's a well you can sit with us you can sit with us and craft with us and hang with us and share with us it's the beginning of a you can sit with us and um, I believe that some of it actually came out of um, their personal experiences with um, being excluded for a variety of reasons, um, not being part of the cool crowd or whatever. And I really like Anne and I really like Ashley, so I was very happy to support with this shirt. Again, here's her logo. I'm not making anything, but I will wear it. Oh, 
comes with a free pattern. Looks like um, slip, slip stitches, but like very subtle, very, and it's like such like Anne's. Anne is very subtle in her patterns. Love it. So this is going to be a stitch marker. I can't remember if it's one or two from Whitney Marie Anderson. So I have shown a couple of stitch markers that I ordered from Whitney. It was with the UV changing hair and she does small batch stitch markers that um, are representative of a variety of people of color and she has um, a variety of different hair types and skin tones and facial expressions and they're just a lot of fun so let's see which one i got when whitney posts her posts the stitch markers they are single batch they are you get to actually pick which which one you want from the remaining um, stitch markers. So the one you pick is the one you get, which is pretty cool. So let's see, cute little box. This is so cute. Look at this. It's just so good. And they're like really light. Adorable. So yeah, I really like supporting stitch marker makers and I really like there being a variety um, of um, types of people like look at the detail on that hair that is awesome I cannot wait to use this stitch marker nothing is better than variety so I'm super happy you should definitely check her out um, and make a purchase and support um, support these small makers So this skein of yarn is from Suburban Stitcher. I believe maybe she was having a sale um, a little while ago. I don't remember if it was a sale or if it's just that she updated her shop, but um, I just wanted to pick up a skein of yarn that uh, really stuck out to me. So let's see what I ended up with. What's nice about this one single skein is that it's a single skein and I will hopefully not cut it. So this is a skein of Suburban Stitcher sock yarn, 7525, and it's in the colorway Quinceañera. So I feel like I don't really have a lot of sort of rich pink 
tonal speckle yarns and um, I don't really feel like I gravitate towards them necessarily but this is a really gorgeous color with a lot of variety. Now Steve and I, my partner and I, like to joke that I never got a quinceanera. Um, I am a quarter Mexican and my family did not follow anything um, Hispanic or, or our Mexican traditions and um, so, you know, it's like I really missed out on a lot of culture because my family really wanted to reject um, their sort of Mexican heritage as they moved further and further north. I really didn't get to get to be a part of that, but I, in, in teaching, I had students, um, you know, I mean, when families start planning for quinceaneras, they plan, they, like, they start really far in advance. And so um, when I had eighth grade students, eighth grade girls would start looking for quinceanera dresses and um, planning their parties and just talking to me about them. And it was always just such, such a lot of fun. And so when, um, you know, Suburban Stitcher yarn came out in that colorway, I believe this was supposed to be for one of the events coming up. Like, this was supposed to be an exclusive colorway for whatever event. Was it maybe DFW or something like that? Um, and so she released it to everybody, and um, I was really trying to choose between this sock and um, the singles, but I do have more sock yarn than singles yarn, and although her singles yarn is great, um, Diane does really good, really good singles, but I think that the colors seemed richer in this yarn, and I am not disappointed. Look at this beautiful yarn. I think by now it's not really a secret that I love Malia Maidit's yarn. Um, she does small batch yarn in her house. She specializes in self-striping, but she also does some other um, dyeing as well. And she also, I believe, has started dyeing fiber, which is pretty cool. And she had a thing going on during February. Of some, it was something like, um, you know, do you want me to dye you a like Valentine's skein, like do you, like a be my Valentine skein, like a unique skein for you and um, based upon whatever criteria. And Malia and I like know each other a little. Um, we've been sort of involved in each other's lives on Instagram and I buy a lot of her yarn and we interact via stories a lot um, and, you know, commenting on posts for I think a year now, which is I think pretty good for the knitting community. And so I was really excited and time went by and time went by and time went by <laughs> and I, I like really, I don't, I don't pay attention to how long it takes to ship my yarn unless I am like, I don't know, really eager to start a sweater or something. And so I was just being patient and, um, she messaged me like, I know that she really <laughs> kind of beats herself up a little bit about like if things take a little while and it's like one like I know like everybody's got stuff going on in their lives and two I want like the best product that I can get you know like I don't want people to rush because they're worried that I want something faster I would much rather get something later and have it be perfect or whatever the best it can be versus rushed and maybe not as as complete as it could be so anyway she messaged me and was like I'm so sorry I'm, I'm like I'm just having such a hard time and I want it to be um a hard time deciding what colors to use for you and I want it to be great can you send me some inspiration and so I was like oh man I got you and so I sent her a bunch of inspiration but it was a variety of um variety of things so I have no idea what she ended up 
deciding to do. So let's see you guys, this is gonna be the reveal. She says, Leah, I hope you enjoy what I came up with and that you're not opposed to sock blanks. Concrete Genie was perfect color inspiration. Thank you. I hope you and yours are well. Malia. That's adorable. So one of the things I sent her, and actually it was one of the last things I sent her um, for inspiration, was a game called Concrete Genie. And um, if you've never heard of it, it is a like very cute game that is super colorful and it's about this um boy who visits a town that he grew up in and the town is sort of overrun with teenagers because it's been kind of abandoned um some event happened in the recent past that made it so it was un unlivable and you know the economy tanked and all this stuff and so um, he goes and visits this town even though he's not supposed to and uh, because it holds a lot of precious memories for him and he likes to um, sketch and paint and so the premise of the game is that like the paintings um, start to come to life and so you you and the paintings sort of try to fix this town and it's gorgeous, beautiful art, so colorful. I'll insert some imagery from it um, after I'm finished, but let's go ahead and take a look at what I got. All right, so it's a double knit sock blank, concrete genie tie-dye, one of a kind Valentine. Fingering weight, let's take a look. And here's Malia made its um, logo. Um, this is a really popular colorway of her yarn. And it's amazing to knit with. So, Concrete Genie has a lot of neons and it has, it's got dark, it's, I mean, the town is dark and, and, and bleak and, um, you know, he and, um, his paintings start adding life and color. This is awesome. Love it. So fun. And this is going to be great to knit up with. I've never, I've never knit with a double knit sock blank before. This is really exciting. I cannot wait to see how this ends up knitting up, but this is gorgeous. And Malia always includes stitch markers that sort of represent the colorways that you have gotten. And so this is what she selected for the sock blank, which I think fits really well. And I love anything that is like individual, tailored to me. Um, when I order, when I order yarns from Malia, I typically have her select um, mini. If I get a mini skein with it, I usually have her select the mini skein because whether or not it's a like, oh, I have too many of this color, so I'm just sending you an extra, or um, I feel like this color really speaks to me for you. Either way, I just like, I just like the surprise. So, this is Concrete Genie Tie-Dye. So this package is from, I believe it's pronounced Hot Knit Yarn, um, H-A-U-T-E, um, like, like hot couture, right? Something like that. <laughs> Whenever I see that word, I always think of the, um, <sighs> I don't remember which account it is on YouTube, but the account on YouTube that like mis purposefully mispronounces um, words. So that one is pronounced Hadi Kudurati. <laughs> I don't know. It was just like a thing of its time. 
on YouTube. And yeah, anyway, so hot, hot knit yarn, how, how knit yarn, I I don't know. It's one of the few words in life that I just really don't know how to pronounce and I've never really looked up that hot word. So anyway, they always have really cute packaging and I love that. And um, yeah, let's see, let's see what I ordered. Wow, this came fast. <laughs> um, so this is yarn that uh, they just did in a shop update. So let's take a look. I believe this yarn was yarn that they had had for, again, another um, yarn event that got cancelled. So I have been trying to do my part and support um, yarn dyers that I would have loved to have supported at the various shows. I mean, many of them I wouldn't have been able to go to because they would be on the East Coast, West Coast, or the South. However, I get the benefit from the fact that um, they have to put everything online, and so I am trying to support and I just, I love these rich, vibrant shades, and I thought that this would look great in a shawl or something. Um, this is uh, Elsa's sock. It's sock yarn, so it is 80-20, super fine, super wash, um, 437 yards. Um, it is very fine. It's soft and it's squishy. Um, I... I you know, really, really like it. And I think it goes beautifully with this slub yarn. So the slub yarn is Vivienne Slub, 438 yards. So you guys, this is over 800 yards. So this would be perfect for some, some kind of shawl. I have never used slub yarn before. And I thought this vibrant and beautiful skein would be the first, um, would be a great start, right? Like, can you can you blame me? I mean, really, can you blame me for this? So, what I've seen that seems like um, a good way to use slub yarn. Oh, and this is called cotton candy. Sorry, and this is called downtown jewel. Is a like plain, bright, pretty color, and then mixed with the slub, and it seems to work out really well. And like these yarns were definitely made for each other. I hope when they sent them out that they were like, wow, yeah, beautiful, perfect yarns, great for each other. So yeah, um, I'm really into the idea of knitting shawls right now. Like, I just think that, and, and shawls are scarfy shawls, I don't know, but I, I seem to wear shawls the most, and so I want to make sure that I am working on a shawl at any given time. So yeah. Go check them out if you are interested in their gorgeous yarns. This is a package from Onyx Fiber Arts. Let's see what we got. Onyx Fiber Arts. Hey, Andrea. I believe Onyx Fiber Arts also, they go by Onyx Fiber Arts on Instagram. This is the yarn that I ordered from them. It is Sprinkle City, a worsted weight, 218 yards, 100 grams, 100% um, superwash merino, and it is just a nice light speckle. It's nice and vibrant. A pretty big departure from what I typically buy. 
and I, I kind of like it. I really wanted a worsted weight because I wanted to get, um, get some variety in my worsted weight and, um, something that could be easily paired with really anything else. I hope you enjoyed um, opening some packages with me, and I will see you again soon. Bye!